Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm just going to be showing you all of my um, supplies I use. This is going to be including bulbs, um, like food and um, water for bugs, etc. Just everything I use on a daily basis, basically. Okay, we're going to get started with the stuff for the, um, uh, Kirk, I guess, because I don't want to use this stuff much for the, um, for dubious. So for food, um, sometimes I'll use this cricket powder food. It has a list of this. This is by Timberline. And this one, I don't think there's ingredients on it, but mix the green stuff. Looks like that. Um, and this one is from Rainbow Mealworms, I believe. They're a good website. I got a few things from them. They actually got pretty cheap prices if you need some feeders. They're out of super worms at the time now. So if you're looking for those, not going to be on there. But for, I also will use for the, um, the drink for crickets, flukers. I used to use this. Um, this is what's in it. And now I use, this is not, now I just use these water crystals. So for like 10 bucks, you can get this. I think there's one for two bucks, a few ounces, but this is like a pound's worth, like a pound's worth of crystal. Um, the like actual water things. Um, I've had this for about, I've had this for about four months and I'm only not even halfway yet. So it, it's good. It's pretty good. Next will be the supplements. Um, I'm getting almost out of this, but by the Rifty Cal Calcium by Zoomed with D3, and then also because just in case something doesn't need D3 or poisonous to it or something weird, uh, I have it without it. I heard a video like something was poisonous, to, um, like poison to them. I don't know. Then this one was a very long time ago. This was old, but um, I don't really use this. I would, I would recommend Zoomed or someone like that. Then for the um, multivitamin, <gasps> multivitamin I use Repcal. It's pretty good stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. It does the job. Next, every once in a while, if you have a blue trunk sink, you can get this if you want. It's just more food. Bluey Buffet. I just butchered that so hard. Uh, it's pretty good. You, you have to boil a little bit of water. It's not hard. Next, I use deli cups a lot. Just like um, sometimes I use them f for dusting. Sometimes, you know, most of the time you'll get them. You'll just use them for the lighting stuff. Most of the time when you get them, you'll just use them for um, doobie roaches, super worms. I, I don't keep my super runs in there. I keep my super runs in this. I usually get about 200, something like that at a time. So I get, so I get the, so I get um, a little bit bigger. Next, um, for UVB, I usually will just use Reptisun, Timboard UVB. But in a few months, we're, well actually, probably within a year or two, Everything's in a massive upgrade, so I'm gonna be using for the most part stuff more like oh, that's more stuff like this, like that. Which I don't, I, I was gonna put down the video that I use that, but um, I don't have the box anymore. But next, once again, I'm not gonna use these down, but another year, but I use Eco Earth a lot, it's pretty good. It's always been, you can always find something better for burrowing species. But alongside that, I use forest floor. Forest floor is pretty good sap mulch. But it's by, I, I like, you can go to like Home Depot, buy a lot more for cheaper, but you don't know if it's safe or not all the time. And if it's by Zoom in, it's gonna be safe. Next, eight crates. 
This is about 20 in there. I just use these for crickets. If you're breeding doobie roaches, if you're breeding doobie roaches, they'll be very good for that because they'll go in there and get the right temps and everything as long as you got your heat mat. You can breed them fairly easy. But I use them for my crickets. Ooh, sorry. Die. Next, heating. So I use two different kinds. One, the first one that I use for my blue tongue skink and my box turtle. All right, it's box turtle. Um, it's by Zoomed, the reptile or reptile basking small lamp. I use that mainly because it comes with um. I think it has a little bit of UV, UVA. Yeah, it has some UV lighting in there. And then for some others, for some others like I think the leopard gecko, I'll just use Zilla, the day white light or the day blue light one of them. And I don't use these much more, much anymore because it's summer right now and it doesn't get too cold. I want them to have that heat drop at night, but I'll use Zilla's black heat incandescent spots. Next is my reps and my fogger. I don't use that too much because I've um, been keeping the humidity up fine, but it worked very well well for the time I had it. How much was it? 60 bucks where we were. I don't know if that's overpriced or not, but you probably can get a better price. Next, I also use this the Deep Dome, which is right there. It has two little spots for it, as you can see there. You can use that. I just use two heats, but I have a bigger thing. But you can see it. That's how it's gonna look. Then the last lamp I use, which this I don't, I got it from Home Depot. It's a lot bigger. It can hold a lot more. The, the max heat watt for this is, I believe, 300 watts. But yeah, actually that's a lesson. The very last thing I use is one of these, just a sprayer. These are like weed sprayers. And it works, in my opinion, better than a, like a spray bottle or something like that. Like This one's like two gallons. Just a lot more convenient instead of having like a little spray bottle, you don't have to, you don't really have to, you know, refill it every, Time you come in the room, it'll be good for a couple days, depending on your animals. I have a, like almost, I think every animal in here actually, besides the geckos, needs spraying daily, twice a day for me because my humidity doesn't stay. But, ugh, sorry, this is all the stuff that I use on a daily basis, and there's a lot more that I want. Um, I also use those part 90, part 90, part 38. Floodlights, but I haven't used them in a culture yet, so I'm not counting them. But yeah, that's um everything I use. And I guess since we're in it, I'll show you my cane toad. Just show you that how he's been acting after he's had that full day to sit. And I've had to put a lot of stuff on here because he's can get out of that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, also, um, I said I was gonna be upgrading his tank. I'm still gonna be doing that, but I'm gonna be putting him in one of those. A nice 75 gallon. I think it'll just be better to give him some. Oh. I think it'd be better just to give him some natural lighting, you know, bigger space. I want to be able to see him too. But he still hasn't really ate anything yet, which kind of sucks, but hopefully he'll kick in action in a few days. But. Let's it. Sometimes he'll let me touch him. But every time I pick him up, he'll do his like call. I'll just show you. He'll do that. It's probably a sign of stress or something, is my guess. Because, yeah, probably a sign of stress. But he hasn't really went over here. I put plenty of. Um, get, put plenty of crickets in there. But, you know, but what I have to do, I literally have to put a screen over it. I have to put three cans of dog food on it. And then I have to put, just to give it some extra weight, I put a knife on it, my uh, knife on it. Which 
still cooking it. And, you know, the geckos are doing good. Speaking of geckos, I forgot one thing. Um, I'll be right back. Leave me... right to my left. Shitty, I use this so much. I've used this almost for every shedding that, um, I've used this all for almost every shedding that my, my, um, this gecko, I've used this every shedding he had because he's always get a little bit of stuck shed on his tail or his feet. Spray him down when I know he's gonna shed. He still gets out. This is good stuff. You, I just soak him in some water for a little bit. You add that in there and just good. It helps your skin. It just it's good stuff. And of course, I use tongs too, but who doesn't? Anyways, this is gonna be my video. And if you liked it, like and sub for more content. A lot of big upgrades. Everything in this room will be bioactive within a year or two. So if you want to see that, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Bye bye.